Hey everyone, welcome back for more XO Zero's content. Today's video, we're going to review my main account for 2021. So starting January. But before that, if you want updated XO Zero's content, please hit the subscribe button down below. Hey guys, to start off with my main account review, I'd like to begin with saying that at the start of the year, I had to clean up my alliances because I realized that I had a couple of alliances that uh, were not really playing that much. So some of them or most of them were, were, were inactive for more than 100 days, um, 70 days. So I had to do this at the start of the year. So right now I'm actually recruiting for any of you those who have a plus three Garf or a plus uh, three Redley. I will actually post on the pinned comment section the available um, Fate Core Fusion that I have so that you'll know what I can also give you in exchange. So that is it for my alliance. So it's been, it's been quite interesting and a lot of people have been giving me um, um, uh, or have been applying to as, as my ally, but um, I actually have 60, 14 slots left, but I need to maximize those to increase my stats. So for those who have um, initially Garf and Radley at plus three or at plus five, please do, um, please do message me or please do um, send a comment down below on your team, on your fusion level for your heroes as well. So with Signature Force, um, I have actually almost leveled up uh, most of the signature force up to level. Um, let's open Rachel first. So this is level one, 1 1.2 for Rachel. Um, I started actually with Rachel when I started the game when there when when uh, global launch uh, started. So one of my first heroes was Rachel. So I really invested much in Rachel, but I stopped and transferred to to Greenland, which which is Bathory and Rera. So also they're at 1.2. But during the time that they didn't have any signature force, I had to again transfer to Astoris Republic, which is Janai and Shell. So I'm currently using much of uh, Astoria's Republic and the other and the other uh, signature force that I have is with Wasted Red. Basically, right now, this is what I want to prioritize moving forward. So I'm already at 1.3. So I'm nearing 1.4. So hopefully I could actually um, bring this to 1.4, then go to level 2. Then the other two are North Von Frosty. There was a time actually that I also spent, um, I invested in Shufraken and also FC Iris for that meta that took over the Greenland meta. So if you can still remember that, um, I actually, they're also at 1.2. And uh, next would be Brun. Brun is at 1.3 because, um, my my main character or my main hero for this account is really Dorka. I number one, I I'll take this. Um, I'll I'll just I'll just say this uh, right out of the way. I love the um, the design of her aesthetically. I love the kit that she has with damage healing. I love all of it. Survivability. It's actually one. She's actually one of my most versatile heroes that I have leveled up so i'll tell you more more about her later and um, so i'm ready at 1.3 for dorka so the next would be the problem with 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 uh, with brun is you don't have that much heroes and also for vagabond i'm also at 1.2 so if you've noticed i don't i don't have a signature force that has really stand or, or has stood out so most of them are on equal footing. It's just now that I'll be focusing on Wasted Red um, and probably Stories Republic. Those are the two that I'm going to focus on. The rest are just splashes because I will need other groups as well if you're going to play PvP tag, right? So 
I'd like to focus on them all, but more so Wasted Red priority. Priority number two would be Stories Republic. So next would be, if you look at my core memory, so this is what I have currently. So I need badly, I haven't used some of them. I need badly, um, actually I need also a, a I, I think this is, this is Monica. Monica, at least level five and Junai level five. I also need, see I need Radley at least level three, but if you can give me a Radley level five, that would be great. And uh, let me, I, yeah, Garf here, at least I need level three. That's it for Garf. So because to have this at um, to have it at plus 15 all of it So for my blue fate core, I only have two um, I still need I I want to I want to actually also do a Do a blue fate core um, ad Additional blue blue fate core for Greenland But right now I'm 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 kind Greenland is kind of my third nation. So Hopefully, I could get a, um, a blue fate core that would give me stories boosts. I think that's Yao. So Yao, I need definitely, and I need more for for wasted red. I already have fusion level plus three for FC Baraka. So those are those are basically my modifiers that I have right now for my team. So. It's actually very all around. I'm, I I do not exceed uh, in in one, so I am actually uh, I actually want to exceed in just one signature force moving forward for this year. So let's go to the heroes that I have. So for the heroes that I have, if you can see again, two priorities that I've I've made were um, stories and wasted red. Um, just wanna actually put this out again. My Junai is not really that good because I had to had to lower down her attack because because of Dorka. Dorka needs to heal her. So my PvP team is uh, right now that I reached in Grand was um, Shell. You have their Annie, Garf, Dorka, and Junai. I cannot I cannot really push Junai to her max limit because again because if I if her attack is greater than Dorka's um she uh, Dorka won't won't heal Junai so that is it so let's start off first um let's let's feature them one by one so when 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 Shell came out I actually was I actually um wanted to get her so much because number one she controls the tempo of my team tempo third reset mana and i rarely use her s1 but her s1 sometimes comes in handy depending on if the enemy is charmed but i i, I but as i said my juna is not that good so i usually don't charm um as much as i'd like to especially on the back um back row most of the charm the units are usually in the front row so shell very good character i will continue to use her um hopefully i'm actually proposing a new setup for my pvp i'm trying to replace dorka with redly so that is what i'm trying to do so three wasted red characters namely um garf annie and redly then you have their um shell and jinai and now i can increase the attack of jinai so we'll, we'll see about that in the next couple of weeks and months if I can really um, pull that off. Second on top hero um, in terms of combat power would be Annie. Annie has been with me since I started the game. Um, she has been very versatile in terms of her passive soul bond. Uh, my favorite actually, uh, sorry, burning soul is my favorite giving Im immunity uh, and also mana to their to your fastest hero very high high damage unit i just recently you know um just recently made sure that she can survive so what i did was i had to uh improve on her unleash potential and had to get all the way down here 
And if you can see as well for 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 Annie, I haven't um bumped up her attack that much because of Dorka as well. I could have easily um gone down the attack tree for Anish potential, but I didn't because she stays at least an attack lower than Dorka. So that's my problem right now. So I need to take out Dorka for a PvP, bring in Redly so that I can probably have a have a more solid team. Um, I'll transfer Dorka to my tag PvP so I'll so that she can be more useful in the future. Um, I hope she gets her her FC. Really, I do hope so. So for Garf, um, Garf. I just appreciated Garf recently, around three months ago. Um, it's really too hard. It, it's really hard to find um, fate course for Garf. I only have her at plus one fusion. So, but Garf is one of my my tankiest um, heroes. Uh, Anish potential has been has been somewhat stamina all the way. I already finished the stamina. And my problem with Garf is during PvP, she, she, uh, she usually gets um, gets hard strike. So she's usually rendered helpless in PvP. But she also gives passive that I'd like. So the plus HP, plus defense. That is why Garf is one of my main heroes in PvP and also in all the content. So next is my favorite, my dear Dorka. Um, so very good aesthetics, very good kit. It's unfortunate that she doesn't have a black or gold FC. She has her her orange FC, but it's it's kind of a piece of dude. <laughs> so you know what I mean. So it's it's good only for aesthetics, but but really no use in terms of stats, in terms of abilities. So I hope that they you know they get her black 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 silver or 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 gold fate core in the future so dorka has been one of my most versatile heroes in this account very versatile in all content especially in in pve i've been using her to break garden stones because of her um damage over time effect so also she is actually she's one of my you know my, my assassins right now i don't have Rera um, leveled up that much, so I shifted to Dorka in terms of um, high damage single, high, high damage single target. So Dorka is the girl for me. So to round out the top five, um, Battery is one of my still my mainstays in this team. She's actually she, I've been using her that much in in Pv, PVE or in also in my second team for my PVP. V pvp tag so i actually again if i mentioned before i started the game with rachel but i i actually had to go through the stream creation to get battery when i was just starting because i really the meta back then really you know made sure that you had to have a battery to be successful in the game that is why i have her but fortunately i had you know i had the opportunity to get multiple copies over that this is why she is at fusion 2 but i haven't opened her anish potential yet because i'm not focusing on greenland so she remains to be a project still up to now so hopefully i could you know um bump her up as well i'm actually working on my the, the second team of my pvp right now so it's actually a work in progress for battery next would be fc Jinai. So FC Janai, when she came out with her FC, one of the top FCs that I have, uh, Fate Cores that I've been using for PvP and also for PvE because again, she has a damage over time effect, so poison. So I've been using her in Dorka and the PvE content quite frequently because, because of their kit um, and because they give a lot to the team. Um, Janai, um, currently is my crutch in my team because i cannot really move forward or improve her much because of dorka again i need to level up this guy so again sorry um before that unleash potential so she actually has one of my one of the most complete unleash potentials that i've ha that i have 
for Dorka, I already completed all Anish potential. So un it's unfortunate that I I can I'm I'm actually holding her back. So here's my current project that I'm working on. It's actually FC Radley. So currently I'm working on his gear. I don't have a fusion for him. Actually, I plan to use the gold FC selection ticket on him. I'm not sure if the, if it's the right decision, but I, I need at least one fusion for him to at least improve his stats a notch higher. So comment below if I should use my FC gold, uh, gold uh, my, my, my gold FC ticket for him when season three comes i'm sure we're, we're going to uh, all of us are going to get that so comment below if 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 i'm going to use it on redley on any other uh gold faker that we have okay so so redley is actually um is one of the realizations that i've had that um he's actually pretty much very powerful in terms of his s2 Especially if he can spam it uh, fre frequent as much, he can actually heal all of your team. So, um, big, big plus in the healing, in the defense, and in survivability, and also in damage. That is why I want to take him um, up there with Garf. And also, just to go back to the signature force for for uh, Wasted Red. This is my next. So I'm going to unlock this one because this benefits Redly. That is why I'm, I'm going up this tree again because I need uh, Wasted Red heroes. So I have th three good heroes now. I have uh, I have Annie, I have Garf, and I have Redly. So I'm go mo moving up this. So again, so it's good uh, if, if I could go higher up to here. Then here, additional light damage for Signature Force. Then this one is for Valar. Valar, I'm also trying to level up. I'll go to her later. So, and also buffs uh, to all Wasted Red units. So, this is why I'm going towards sign uh, the Wasted Red Signature Force. Because um, most of my, my priority is aligned there right now. So Redley, again, I hope to have a fusion one for him soon. If not, I'll have to go to the the, the stream of creation again. Um, if I use the knot for the stream of creation. So next would be Ramji. I'm actually just developing Ramji because of the meta, because of nullify heal. So he brings a lot as well to the team. He's not well developed in terms of what I need from him. Because I've, I've spent most of my resources on the top 8 here. Um, so Redly, I'll, I'll continuously develop him part of my tag PvP team. Or probably in the future, my main PvP team. For Iris, um, Iris has dropped in the usage that I've had. Because I've been using Shell more frequently than her. But she still has her place. Um, I will try to probably... Um, enhance her equipment because it's not that good i've actually taken off equipment from her and put it in other in other heroes that i've had for priority uh, but i will actually level up or or enhance my iris up or increase her stats once i actually i think finish redly because i will try different try different um, mix and matches of heroes especially for pvp and also for, for PvP tag. But she is one of my mainstays in, in my account. Because I use her to fuel burst heroes. Burst uh, heroes which have burst attack or burst heal. So she is my main uh, mana giver aside from Shell. And for Rera, sad to say, I haven't paid much attention to Rera. She's relegated to... She and Battery used to be my top two. Um, because of their late signature force activation, I didn't, I didn't have, um, I pulled out my resources from her and put it somewhere else. So, but she's coming back. I'm, I'm trying to build her up again for tag PVP as of the moment. But I've, I have more good green heroes like Janai 
Tantalo. Tantalo is actually the, uh, at the bottom because I just stripped him with with his gear and transferred it into Rudley. So, uh, Rera, one of my better heroes, um, and I've been using her in PvP tag. Okay, so Barak as well, I've been using in PvP tag. So, he has Fusion 3 already. So, good benefit for wasted, uh, uh, wasted red units. So I'm lacking R1, uh, faded R1. So currently in my third PVP team for Baraka. So Baraka has been, you know, has been there, has been with me since the start, um, especially with the first Guardians. But I haven't used him that much. That much. Um, I usually use him in PVP tag. Deva, I've used Deva before in PVP. She was one of my main. Um, heroes in PvP, but the meta has changed pretty much so drastically, and it turned defensive that I had to remove Deva because she could not really deal that much damage anymore uh, in terms of um, the PvP meta. So she's relegated to tag PvP for now. One of the best heroes I've had in terms of damage, AOE damage, especially also her S2 for single target damage. It's one of the best. And recently, I also had the chance to get um, FC Talia. So FC Talia is here also in my uh, second team for tag PvP. I'm actually collecting all these heroes because I'd like to switch them up from time to time, especially in PvP. Switch them up. Um, have at least um, I'm I'm actually leveling up the leveling up the heroes that I use frequently in content. So FC Talia PVP tag good good with uh, with with Batrain Rera so they're there. So next would be FC Brook. So Brook is actually in my third uh, PVP team. So she is uh, with uh, FC Rachel's team. So she's there to give high damage. Brook I haven't used that much. I was actually tinkering with her to probably inc include her before in my pvp team my main pvp team but the meta again has changed so much that i've had to park some of the heroes that i was that i was developing before so one of them is brook fc tantalo i again stripped him for for gear so that is why his gear is kind of uh, meh so fc tantalo doesn't um, is one of the best um, heroes that I have. It's just right now he's not part of my main PvP team. I was actually thinking of swapping him out with um, with um, uh, FC Garf at one point, but I'll still continue to 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 treat him as a project. So the project that I have is Radley, Iris. Talia, Tantalo. So those are the units that I'm, you know, um, uh, modifying to be on the top tier of my heroes or hero reserves. Lepin, I actually um, was using in in PVE. So she's a mainstay in my PVE um, PVE teams. That is why she's here, and she has actually helped me a lot in PVP before. Uh, I used to use her in PvP tag, but not anymore. So she's relegated to PvE. Maggie, I'm using um, as a mainstay in the dragon. So Maggie, I'd like to also eventually elevate because of her wasted red additional stats. So for FC Emma, I have actually used FC Emma uh, in my third uh, PvP team. But right now we have FC April, so I'm actually backing off on Emma and I've replaced her with FC April, April for the meantime. So other, other heroes here that I have uh, in the projects, not really in the projects, but it's still in the back burner. So you have Scarlet, um, Chatty as well. I want to um, level up Chatty because I'm using her in a dragon. Um, Ulum, unfortunately, I don't have a fusion yet for Ulum, but I'm using her in my <coughs> in my PVE. Reed Marie, um, I'm actually developing her now, but I actually 
kind of just parked her uh, there. Rachel, I am actually going to try to um, improve because of the new um, probable counter to the stall meta with FC April. So Zion as well. Zion, actually, I don't have Zion leveled up because I got Zion late pretty much. Uh, way back when the first Guardian first came out, um, I only got FC Anastasia. Uh, I didn't. I wasn't able to get FC Zion, so that is why Zion is not that heavily fusioned and is not that you know heavily um, heavily equipped and heavily leveled up. So if you can see here, um, I'll discuss with you first my disappointment. So I'm currently disappointed in how they made Valentina. Um, I had actually a um, big expectation for her. She used to be she used to be serviceable in terms of even tag PvP, but now um, um, she hasn't been and she hasn't had that support aside from Shufraken and uh, Ramji. So I hope they do rework her. There was a previous rework for a Gold Fate core for FC Tantalo, so I hope they would rework her. Um, she actually I invested in her. Um, in the earlier parts when she first came out but now I've stripped her with gear and I parked her now um, Anastasia also once once was a you know a dominant force in PvP with Zeon but now I'm um, rarely being used um, Hecken this is actually my pet project for Hecken because Hecken is actually for my account is also at, it's already at Fusion 5 so I'm and he's also with Wasted Red. That is why I'm excited to to build him up and try to see how big of a damage he can deal. Um, he has he has he has pierce piercing, so I bet she, uh, he can deal a lot of damage. And he has Heart Strike as well. So Shufraken um, again parked uh, used to be one of my you know top heroes because of the meta change stripped again for parts and now I'm just using him in PvE so also in the development that I have so Schmid um, I really like Schmid um, I hope they um, we could make a, a team with him that would rise up PvP Adams as well I'm 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 I was supposed to use Adams with Astoris but I'm still leveling him up so we'll see he's actually my backup just in case I need to interchange other heroes so Bernadette um, I use Bernadette mainly in the dragon so not that much she's at uh, fusion level one she used to be one of my main heroes in my account when I was beginning back in the day Valar again for wasted red i'll try to tinker with her kit um she's kind she has a she has a pretty much defensive kit that i am interested in doing but kind of not now because i'm prioritizing a lot of things uh a weekend zeon as well i'm also curious in pairing with schmidt so they're in the back burner as well monica as well i have a lot of pet projects right now Sewa used to be one of my pet projects. Naomi, um, I actually have to to develop April still. I just got her, I think this week. So also improving her kit. So more or less the rest are. I have a lot of fate cores that I need to level up and catch up uh, because I'll need them. As I I need some of their stats in in embodiment of avarice so that is why i i, I lack um good heroes in frost light and in dark for uh, embodiment of avarice so these are the rest of my my fate cores so there are a lot i already put a lot of fate cores uh including glenn including shakan shakan is also there i'm actually looking forward also to using shakan in uh, lilombe but Again, that's very far off. I, I got I got him uh, during the time that I was starting. So, um, what else? So that's it. 
So those are my bench heroes. So that is my 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 account, folks. So it's actually it's I'm not really a whale, so to say. I am actually of the dolphin class. I don't I don't have that much of a powerhouse in terms of um, heroes. Um, I am actually in the middle of the pack because I wanted to provide you guys with advanced gameplay on how to 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 clear this one how to how to level up your hero a guide so that is why i try to be at least more advanced than you if i can um, also for beginners I, I really try to make sure that i have insights to give and this is my account so um the leader is still shell so i hope you guys have an interesting tour of my account We'll see for February if my account is still the same or the, if the priorities are still the same. But for now, definitely it's going to be Wasted Red. Definitely it's going to be Garf, Rudley, and Annie for the core. And Janai Shell and a splash of Dorka. So there you go for my account. So that's pretty much very interesting. But I'm looking forward to a very, very interesting... 2021 for exo zeros looking forward to making more you know relevant content for the game and also guys don't forget to join my discord um the link is in the description below also please don't forget to subscribe to my channel this helps a lot um closing in on 500 subscribers so i'm actually just going to just going to say this um i would like to apologize sometimes if if you find my my videos um kind of kind of lacking in energy because um i'm actually a full-time you know i have a full-time job i have a i have a part-time job i um i am actually involved in a lot of things so sometimes it's really hard to create content especially if you're just grasping at content so the more the more um the more content exos years puts out the more interesting content that i will put out as well so I apologize again for the sometimes the lack of energy that I have in, in, in making these videos. But I will promise to listen to you guys, listen to your tips, and be better at this. I um, thank you for all the support. Thank you for everything. Thank you, thank you for the subscribers that have supported me since day one. And the, the subscribers that are joining on a daily basis. Thank you again for everything. So this is just my January account, main account review. Um, please look forward to February's account review. Okay, so you all stay safe out there. Always take care of family. Um, always think positive, not be COVID positive. This is the warden and you all stay safe. I'm out.